Hello, the organic mechanic again with Kelferless.com, and uh, we're going to do a quick product review on our kelp and humic acid blend product. And uh, uh, it's a very popular product in our store and amongst our customers. And uh, our kelp humic blend is uh, very comparable to other products on the market that are very well known that uh, uh, a lot of our growers use every day. And what it is, is uh, customers call us or go to our website, kelpforless.com. They order a package of our kelp humic blend. And we ship out in a plain envelope. There's no marketing materials. There's no advertising on the packages we ship out. And uh, we ship rapidly. Most of our orders ship out same day, two to three day delivery time. So I'm going to see what we have in this one here. And, uh, and as always, our shipping crew, uh, they double package everything in a Tyvek bag. This prevents any powders, dust, or spillage getting out. And uh, we do a very good job at uh, shipping the product securely and timely. So I'm just going to see what we have. Oh, it's Kelp Humic Blend. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then with the Kelp Humic Blend, as always, we ship out... Uh, our coupons for future orders. We have a coupon code here that will save you some order. Uh, if you go to kelforless.com, you can use this coupon, save yourself some money. We're all into that. And uh, so let's get started. Our products always come in a Ziploc bag that are taped, uh, very secure for shipping, and directions for use are always on the label. And if you ever have any questions, you can go to kelforless.com, use the how to mix section. Or give us a call, our phone number's on the label, whatever you would need. And uh, so anyway, this is our kelp and humic blend. And uh, this, uh, this mix is very comparable to other products on the market. And uh, we, like I say, we get a lot of phone calls, we get a lot of emails, we help our growers try to get something that's more affordable for them to use. And uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at uh, this product here and uh, oh oh it's derived from from kelp and humic acid oh, okay all right okay I see that oh and some yucca extract oh, okay all right well uh, the yucca extract is uh, is, a, is a another very popular item it's a soluble powder and uh, it's available at kelpforless.com as well but uh, just to continue on with the uh, kelp and humic acid blend. And it's real easy to make your own comparable product to other products that are on the market that are very effective. And uh, as growers ourselves, we've used a lot of these products. And as always, we figured out that uh, water is very accessible to us. And we have found that if we use a soluble powder and add our own water, Boy, it saves us a lot of time and a lot of money because we can, uh, you know, we can get a one-pound package of a soluble powder and make gallons upon gallons upon gallons of liquids. At our own convenience, they don't go bad. The dry powder doesn't expire, and it saves us a lot of money. So I'm going to go to this kelp and humic blend, and I'm just going to... I'm not going to undo the tape or the Ziploc. I'm just going to save us time and do that. And, uh, and as always, the directions are, are on every package. And I'm going to make me up one quart of an item that uh, is very effective, very good, and uh, uh, very popular addition to fertilizer. So... Uh, this, you know, there's, I can hear the water in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and add the active ingredients in this quart. And do you know what? This one's empty. I don't hear any water. But that's okay because I'm going to, I'll add my own water. And then I can hear it, you know, I can shake it and hear the water inside. But I'll be happy because it's my water I'm adding in the jug. Whether it's reverse osmos osmosis, filtered, well water, city water, whatever. It's not going to change the active ingredient I'm going to put in this quart. So I'm just going to follow the directions on the kelforless.com label. 
And, uh, oh, okay, to make a quart, let's see. I need about uh, two dry ounces. So I'm going to grab my uh, kelforless.com tablespoon and go into my bag of soluble powder, which is kelp humic blend. And I'm just going to see what one dry ounce would be. Okay, there's one tablespoon. Here's another tablespoon. Oh, you know, it's really close to two tablespoons. Let me try two and a half. You know what? Two and a half tablespoons is really close <clears throat> um, to what I need to make my, my in ingredients here. So, you grab a tablespoon. There's two tablespoons. And then just because I'm going to add a little more, it's not going to hurt. It's still going to dissolve. It's all water soluble. I'm just going to make a more potent product here. And oh, hey, yucca extract. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Very, very small amount of yucca extract. So I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh... Oh, there's my yucca. Okay, good. I got some yucca in it. Resell this bag, put it over here. And then I'm just going to add some water. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a very concentrated, very thick liquid substance that will be very readily available to the plants. And if you want to find out more of the ingredients that's in this product, take a look at our other videos. Take a look at our humic acid video or our kelp video, and that will kind of explain the process of those ingredients and what they're made of and why we use them on plants. So you know, I'm just going to call that good because it, it may not be a full quart, but if you want to have my bag of soluble powder here, so um, I, can, I can make several quarts down the road. So just to save time, I'm just going to make this one quart. And uh, as you can see, it turns dark really fast. I'm just going to mix it up here. Oh, boy, it mixes really easy. Yeah. Turns dark really fast. Now I can hear the water. Oh, I can hear the water in this one too. Okay. And then uh, we recommend shaking this for about one minute. And, uh, I, you know, just to be fair, I might as well shake this one. Yeah, two very good products. Two very good products. I'm just going to pour them out here. Oh, hmm. okay, well. All right. Okay, I got a, some of those there. Okay. I'm just going to give it a whiff. Mm, okay, I'm going to whiff this one. Mm, all right, very similar. Okay. Um, and uh, pretty much there it is a very good concentrate uh, of a, you know, really popular, popular soil and plant amendments there. We recommend diluting this down, you know, one part to uh, ten parts water, or for foliar, you know, add one one to two liquid ounces of this per gallon of foliar. And uh, if all else fails, you can always, you know, take a look at the uh, recommended use of products you're already using. And, uh, but from what I can see here, you know, it's probably very comparable. And I'll tell you what, I've been growing a long time. And I've compared products and, and used different mixtures in, in our growing operation. And uh, I like to save money. And again, water is very accessible. So I just prefer to mix my own. So this has been the, uh, the review for the uh, kelp and humic acid mix. And I'm just going to throw in the, you know, the soluble yucca powder in there too. Again at uh, kelpforless.com. Uh, I can probably, let's see, you, you know, I can probably make 10 quarts of ready-to-use substance with this bag. And uh, we, we offer free shipping with all our products. We can deliver this bag to your home. Very, very affordable price. Make many, many of these. And uh, uh, it's a, a very good addition to any growing operation. Or feel free to, to, you know, go down to the grow shop or your uh, uh, nursery supply or anything like that and, uh, and, 
uh, you know, get another product because they work well as they, you know, they work just as well. Uh, we're just trying to save our growers time and money. And until next time, this is the organic mechanic going to sign out on the kelp humic acid blend, throwing in some yucca extract on the side, and I'll see you in the next video.